still stands Great is your faithfulness Faithfulness Still in your hand Hello friends, how are you doing? Uh, it's, it's just a beautiful song that uh, uh, I'm trying to learn and uh, well, probably tomorrow I'll have everything set so that I can do the full song here at Pursuit Trash Live. You are welcome, you are very welcome here and uh, 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 I'm seeing people already watching in. Thank you, thank you very much for joining us. It's a beautiful week here out in Kampala, Uganda. It's already Monday and I know some of you, it's still Sunday where you are, but you are very welcome. Thank you for keeping it locked always here at Pursuit Trash Live. I love you so very much. My name is Ron and um, you are watching World Worship Cafe. I, I want to tell you that you have uh, opened this Facebook at the best time. There is no time like this. It's amazing. I, sometimes uh, I, I, I think that the disciples wished uh, the apostles wished they had the internet and the cell phones and, uh, uh, and all these gadgets to, to, to spread the gospel all around the world because, I mean, uh, these guys had their heart. And it's beautiful because uh, uh, God has planted the same heart in us and he has given us the internet so we are really really grateful to god that we have this uh, that we can spread the word of god all to the ends of the world uh, using this and uh, um my, my prayer is that pursuit church life will will, will will go so viral to even those lands where um talking about christ is prohibited where it's a crime to be to, to for christ to be talked about my prayer is that pursuit church life will be the church to the unchurched that it will be the church to those that are oppressed so I want to encourage you still again one more time would you tell a friend about pursuit trash life and uh, could, could you tell them to just like the page and uh, they will be blessed by the ministry of pursuit trash life it's doing a lot of things we are doing a lot of things uh, uh, and, and we are seeing a number of testimonies uh, when we go uh, in, in our message handle uh, we get to see what the Lord is doing in people's lives and it's what pushes us to, to go, go ahead and and uh, um, for some of us to multiply the days that we have been doing uh, what uh, what we were doing as, uh, when I started out as just uh, leading worship on just a Saturday. But then when I saw what God is doing in people's lives on just a Saturday, I was like, I can do this actually every day of the week. And and and. Uh, Sometimes I'm pushed to do uh, in the morning and evenings because God is amazing and is doing a number of things. And if you're out there and you want to join us in the ministry of Pursuit Trash Life, it's very, very simple. Just message a video of you doing what we are doing here. And we will be glad to have you uh, do what well, God has called us to do here at Pursuit Trash Life. All right. Um, today, uh, you know, we, we are still talking about uh, our identity in Christ, and uh, we are, we are conquerors. We are, uh, we are victorious. We are who He says we are, and and and. Uh, 
Today, I want to tell you, I want to, uh, uh, um, I want to talk to you about something briefly before I do, uh, I, I will go into the singing bit of it. And um, we are who Christ say we are. It doesn't matter if you're rich, it doesn't matter if you're poor, it doesn't matter if you are, uh, if you have a lot of money or not, it doesn't matter if you're white or you're black or you are Indian or you are from the Middle East or you, wherever you are from. Um, we are children of God. We are a collection of himself. He has knitted us together and he has uh, uh, destined us for something amazing. Now, uh, remember the, the story of the prostitutes that uh, the Pharisees bring to Jesus when Jesus was teaching. And they bring, they bring, uh, they bring the prostitute to him and the, the, they say, we have found this uh, this 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 lady, uh, she is uh, breaking the law, and the law says if you break this kind of law, you are supposed to be stoned. And Jesus right just goes down on his knees and writes in the dust. And probably the people are trying to figure out what is he writing in the dust? What is he writing down there? And he writes, if there is anyone who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. And I want to believe that um, as he is writing, he, he, he is rewriting the story of this lady. He is rewriting the story of this prostitute. And he is saying, um, everyone has got sin. But I am the God who takes away the sin of man. I am the God who takes away the sin of man. And I am able to rewrite your story and I'm able to take it away. I'm able to give you a new name. I'm able to make you a new being. Look at Abram before he becomes Abram. God gives him, tells him something and then he names him into Abram. Look at Jacob. Jacob is changed a name from Jacob which means thief to getting a name of Israel. Very many people in the scriptures where we see that God has changed their names into something. God is able to give you a new identity um, um, compared to that which you have known yourself of. Have you known of yourself as a low person? Have you known of yourself as a person who doesn't stand out, who doesn't count, who doesn't um, appear, and who doesn't uh, who is a nobody? Have you known of yourself as that kind of person? God is able to write your story. Nobody is better than the other person in the kingdom. We are all the same. We are all the same. Jesus, well, let's look. You know, Jesus will eat with the sinners, talk with the tax collectors, talk with the Jews, the Romans, the Pharisees, or the scribes, and all those guys. Why? Because he knows that everyone is equal in the kingdom. Look at, why would he talk to sinners and tax collectors? In fact, those days, sinners were better off than tax collectors because tax collectors were, are really, really at the worst position. If sinners were like around here, then tax collectors were right below them. And Jesus, you find Jesus talking to tax collectors. In fact, he had one of these apostles as a tax collector. And Jesus will talk to them because he knows that all, all people are equal in the kingdom. The Bible says that he came, he came so that we will find life and we will get it life, you get life abundantly. He came for that those who were lost. He did not come for any for those for those guys who are fine. He came for us who are broken. So um and and, and if you're in that state of brokenness uh <laughs> you might be broken uh for a reason and not any any other reason but for for God to get some glory out of your brokenness. Sometimes brokenness is a setup for a miracle. So if you're broken and you are there, whatever kind of brokenness could be a sickness, maybe God is setting you up. <laughs> For a miracle. Brokenness sometimes is a setup for a miracle. And he uses um, uh, uh, that brokenness to show uh, his uh, miraculous works to, to, to all people to see. Remember the man who, who, was, uh, who was blind and, and, and Jesus comes and uh, he, he gets dust and 
and, and he spits into the dust and then he, he smears the dust on his eyes. The physicians could not understand. I mean, my eyes have been actually seeing just a little bit and now you are putting dust and that little bit that was there is also lost. But Jesus rewrites the story of that man because, I mean, out of the dust he created that man. So he is just, just a simple illustration that this dust is clean. What, what you are seeing as dust, what you are seeing of yourself right now as dust, is actually out of it is it comes the clean nature of you and then you cannot understand the ways in which you walk in but that um uh, and, and actually, before, be, be, before he, he performs that miracle, the uh, people ask Jesus, uh, is it his father, is it his parents, is it uh, his sisters that uh, committed the crime and now he's suffering for, for, from it? And Jesus says, none of them, none of them. But, I mean, it's just a setup for a miracle to happen. So, probably, you are in uh, a position where you are in a setup for a miracle. To happen, you are in a setup for a miracle to come to bless. You are in a setup for a miracle to be shown, to be revealed, to be revealed at this moment, at that time, at such a time. At such a time. If you're going to look like Jesus, so you have to be with Him, to embrace Him, to embrace Him. And if you're going to receive, what he is going to work out of you, you just all you need to do is believe. All you need to do is believe. All you need to do is believe. I believe in God our Father. I believe in Christ our Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit. Our God is three in one. I believe in the resurrection. That we will rise again For I believe in the name of Jesus God is able He will never fail He is the mighty God Greater than all we see Greater than
hardest to lie In his name I overcome For the Lord my God is able For the Lord our God is able For the Lord your name and raise my hand surrendering all I, I am take away my shame you take me as I am
friends, I share to you about the story of the prostitute. Uh, this uh, Jesus wrote her story, and if Jesus is gonna rewrite your story, you need to surrender to Him. You need to yield yourself to Him. You need to yield yourself to Him. He is right here in this place. He is right here as we sing. And he is right here as we sing tonight. He is right here. All you need to do is just let go of everything. Let go of that pain. Let go of that shame. Let go of that guilt. Let go of all of it. Let go. And he will write your story. And he will rewrite your story. He will. Thank you, Lord, for today. We bless you, Lord, for it's been a beautiful time here singing and raising our voices to you. And Father, I believe that you have worked through us and the person that is watching this video tonight. I thank you for their lives. Would you bless them as they go to bed and as some continue with their day and as they do whatever they're going to do. Father, I pray for a blessing upon their lives and I pray that whatever they will touch on, it will be blessed. I pray for favor in their lives as well, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you will cause them, Lord, to be in to you what you desire of them and I pray Lord for that person who is struggling Lord to surrender Lord I pray that you will help them will you give them courage will you empower them that they will be able to cast all the burdens unto you because you alone is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can even think I bless you Lord I thank you for today I thank you for pursuit church life for his changing lives I thank you for world worship cafe and I thank you for my fellow worship leaders and on this platform i thank you for paul i thank you for what he is doing i thank you lord for you are um, doing a lot of tremendous works through him i bless you for him in jesus name we pray that somebody say amen and amen may god bless you it's my time to sign up but i'll go through real quick all uh, through your comments and um uh, oh uh, uh and and uh see what we have um gonna take this understand and um, right. um hey Persian. oh uh hope i pronounced that right this time as well <laughs> yes thank you for watching in hi anna hi um hi anna hi hi my my brother paul you're here uh, and uh, i know that oh hi rachel um uh, I, th I think, uh, Paul, you wanted me to do Spirit Breakout. I'll do that tomorrow. I promise you, bro. I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. And uh, I know uh, uh, Beth is there somewhere in... in, in uh in, in Uganda, we call it Kamori, uh, ventilators, uh, trying to peep in. Uh, I, I know Bev is there, and, and, and Pastor Angela Craig, and uh, and many other people. I, I know that um, Luanga Steve, he should be there. Uh, I know that um, Elvis, you are there as well. So, may God bless you. See you tomorrow on, around the same time, um, my time in the morning. May God bless you. See you.